Uber Hulk. Uber Hulk. Uber Hulk. Hulk! Smash! Hey folks, welcome back to another Uber Hulk review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Bandai Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla first debuted in the 70s in Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla is at, was at first the product of an alien race who came down to Earth to uh, to basically make Godzilla look bad because he had this flesh color on him and Godzilla eventually ripped it off of him through their battles and exposed his metal underneath and then over the years mecha godzilla has supposed to be the uh counterpart to godzilla but didn't quite work out for him because in every instance godzilla has beat the crap out of him and twice he has ripped his head off which I think is hilarious. Mecha Godzilla in the movies, Mecha Godzilla um, could shoot beams out of his mouth. His hands spun and fired missiles. He he was just all around mechanic nightmare, and Godzilla took care of him every single time that they fought. So um, let's have a look at this fella, shall we? Here's Mecha Godzilla's packaging. As you can see, the Godzilla. There's some in the packaging, and then the background Godzilla, Bandai. This probably says Godzilla. Back of the packaging, Bandai, born up. Uh, let's see here, Millennium Godzilla, King Caesar. And Godzilla 1954, which I have the other equivalent to the Godzilla. So collect them all. And yeah, that's the back of the package. So now we have Mecha Godzilla out of the packaging. There's Mecha Godzilla from the front. Notice how he's trying to be a, a full metal version of Godzilla. Here's Mecha Godzilla from the back. Tail, spikes. Yeah. His tail's a little snub, though. I have realized that. Now I'm going to have a take. Now I'm going to take a look at the articulation on Mecha Godzilla. First off, here's his face, which I think it looks pretty accurate to the movie. His head goes all the way around. His arms have articulation. They spin all the way around. There's nothing in the hands. His waist has articulation. And his legs have articulation. My friend LK Chief picked up these figures. Um, and they, whenever, whenever I picked mine up, they were extremely stiff. So... Okay, Chief, these figures are, these figures do have articulation. They just, they're extremely stiff. So that's the articulation in Mecha Godzilla. And this is how Mecha Godzilla scales up with the rest of the Bandai and the NECA gods. This is... Okay, this is the NECA Godzilla that I picked up. This is the 
Bandai King Ghidorah. This is the Mecha Godzilla we were having a look at today. In my opinion, they all three scale it pretty, pretty good, and um, I think that they're gonna have a pretty, pretty nice brawl. <laughs> so uh, that's just my thoughts on that. So today we were having a look at the Bandai Mecha Godzilla figure. So that's been my review. Tell me in the comments whether you like these figures, didn't like them. I actually picked up the I picked up all the the Godzilla figures, all of the Godzilla figures except for Godzilla at Walmart for around twelve dollars, and I saw that my friend uh, Dondi from Life Anime Gaming had been picking them up, and so that's a shout out to him, Life Anime Gaming, and to shout out to OK Chief uh, to show. I wanted to show both of these guys what these figures were really about. So. Thanks for watching. Give my videos a uh, like. Subscribe if uh, you will. And um, Uber Hulk will see you later. Bye.